Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where we have quite possibly the most insane landlord in the history of the world. Okay, this next post is going to seem kind of dry and normal, but trust me, this one gets really wild really fast. Furnished room available for rent. The rent is $1,600 per month. Your $1,600 per month includes a fully furnished room. You'll have a fully sized memory foam bed and bedding, bathroom towels and clothes, mini fridge with separate freezer, microwave oven, curry coffee and tea maker, five drawer dresser and two drawer nightstand, computer desk and chair, as well as other new and unused miscellaneous items. Blah blah blah, she describes the room. Your monthly cost of $1,600 also includes bathroom hygiene needs, so bath tissue, hand soap, cleaning supplies, etc. You can also freely use any of the condiments in the kitchen, such as oils, spices, etc. I'll do all the shopping for the home, so you don't have to. <laughs> and here's the kicker. You'll be sharing this full-size bedroom with two other people. <laughs> and then she says, You're suitable if you're a quiet, private, introverted person that likes to keep their habits and lifestyles separate from other interactions in the home. If you're the kind of person who doesn't use any recreational, medicinal drugs, alcohol, or smoke, you can't have any animals, and you're not bothered or inconvenienced by the sounds of my happy, active home. Also, I'd like to introduce you to my family and my home. I'm a 52-year-old mom with a 30-year-old son. My son lives close by and comes home often. You're sure to enjoy his company when you meet him. He's incredibly creative, majestically magical, compassionate, noble, and kind. And he's very protective over his mother and family home. I'm totally blind. I've had no vision since I was 18. I'm independent and I maintain this home. The kitchen is all vegan. Absolutely no animal products stored, cooked, or prepared in the kitchen. If your diet is not vegan, then you're welcome to all your dietary habits in your own fridge and microwave. Your responsibilities. I have a house meeting once a week that you must be present for. You will receive a short and simple list that states your areas and schedules of house cleaning tasks. You'll also receive a short and simple list of kitchen kindness and cleanliness respect and responsibilities. You must keep your room in good cleanliness and repair. You must get your own P.O. box or Amazon locker for your deliveries and basic mail. Also, the first month's rent and security deposit totals $3,200 and is due upon moving in. Okay. <laughs> this woman says that the ideal renter is an introvert who likes to keep to themselves. But apparently she expects an introvert to share a single bedroom with two other complete strangers. And am I reading this correctly that she expects each person sharing the bedroom to pay $1,600 rent individually. So she's renting out her single bedroom for $4,800. I mean, <laughs> I don't know where this is. Maybe it's like some extreme metropolitan place like New York. But still, when I went to college, I didn't spend $1,600 for an entire apartment that I had with just me and my girlfriend. Also, I gotta ask... What makes her son majestically, what was it, majestically magical? Like, is, <laughs> is her son a unicorn or something? And yeah, because that's what every introvert wants. A random 30-year-old guy showing up and being overprotective of his mom. I'm really not kidding when I say that this might be the single most out-of-touch landlord that I have ever seen in the history of the r slash YouTube channel. $1,600 to share one bedroom and one bathroom with two complete strangers. What, do they just all like cuddle up and sleep in the same bed? <laughs> I literally can't think of a more nightmare scenario for all of my introverted friends. Hello, introvert. Um, I'm a guy you've never met before, but I guess it looks like I'm going to be in your space 24-7 and sleeping with you for the next four months. Nice to meet ya. On this next post, OP applied to a freelance graphic designer position online. Then he gets this email. Hi, OP. Thank you again for applying to the freelance graphic designer position here at Blank. We're a private design service marketplace that lets talented designers get flat daily pay to create awesome designs for our clients. As a part of our selection process, we invite selected candidates to take a design trial project, and you're one of them. 
Before we move forward, here's a quick overview of our company and how we collaborate with you if you want to join us. You have a maximum of four hours to complete a design trial project, and you'll get paid $10 if the request is completed and approved by the client. If you pass the first trial, you'll be enrolled in another 90-day testing phase where you'll earn $5 to $10 per assigned project. We'll assign you a minimum of five projects per day, and you can choose to work on your own schedule. To remain on the platform, you'll have to complete a minimum of five projects per day. So, your potential daily earning can be between $25 to $50 per day, which we consider the minimum that a designer should get for a daily payment. If you have any other questions about the assignment, please don't hesitate to ask. We're looking forward to hearing from you. I'm pretty sure that you could actually make more money just going to the street corner and begging. I've never begged, so I don't really know, but five projects per day with five dollars per project? Is this item still available, and can you take 40 pounds since I'll be coming from Manchester? It is available, yeah, but 40 pounds is too low, sorry. 40 pounds, but I'm driving from Manchester and then back to Manchester. I'll be happy to pick it up today if you're willing to do 40 pounds. Yeah, but the fact that you're driving from Manchester has no bearing on me. I'm not willing to go below 80 pounds, sorry. I was hoping that you were open to offers. Guess not then. What about 50 pounds? Cross-posted in the human milk group, which I didn't know existed, but okay. I'm looking for a consistent breast milk donor, if possible, who's able to drop off to us. We don't have a vehicle. We live near blank. You must be a mama who has not been vaccinated. Please be honest and don't expose my little one to the vaccine. Thank you. So this, <laughs> this person wants a consistent milk donor who's able to deliver to them for free. And she can't be vaccinated. I think what you're looking for, lady, is a cow. <laughs> not even that. At least the cow is paid with food. Also, I don't know why people are so, like, weirded out by the vaccine. Have you guys heard about that story about that dude who got his... How do I say this without YouTube blasting my channel? He had his male body part shrink because of COVID. Like, uh... So, like, apparently... You know how you hear that COVID will kill, um kill the oxygen like blood receptor cells in the lungs and that's why like how it kills people apparently it can also kill the oxygen blood receptors in other parts of the body as well so i didn't want to get covid before but now i really don't want to get it <laughs> I, I can't afford for it to get any smaller supportive roommate needed are you a compassionate person with a great sense of humor who enjoys cooking and looks for ways to encourage independence by developing daily routines and skills in those around you? If so, we're looking for a supportive roommate to share an apartment with Blank, a 25-year-old young man who has Down syndrome. A little bit about Blank. He's a 25-year-old fun-loving man. He enjoys meeting new people and going to community events such as sporting events. He likes video games. As a roommate, you'd be helping Blank with the following. Planning and preparing healthy meals. Encouraging exercise and setting fitness goals. Monitoring him and reminding him to take his prescribed medications. Transport him to some appointments and social activities. Support basic housekeeping, such as keeping the house neat, safe, and enjoyable. Assist with doing laundry. Schedule events and Zoom calls, church, club meetings, and online community activities. Act quickly in case of emergencies. More importantly, you would be a friend who would help build a trusting relationship, improve the quality of life for yourself and those around Blank, and support your new friend with him maintaining dignity and safety. Blank works best with a person who is calm, compassionate, trustworthy, and service-minded. Please note that the support role is compensated in the form of free rent. Requirements. It's important whoever lives with Blank be willing to learn, give honest feedback, have good time management skills, be punctual, and have outstanding communication and interpersonal skills. You must have a valid driver's license, have a reliable car, be able to drive, and have current insurance. You must pass a criminal background and motor vehicle check. You must sign a state waiver for compensation. You must be COVID vaccinated. You must not have any pets. No smoking, no 420, no alcohol. Please write me a paragraph of why you deserve to live with an amazing person like blank. 
I think of all the red flags on this post, the one that really stands out to me is you have to sign a waiver confirming legally that you are under no obligation to get paid. Why, why would anyone ever sign that? Anyways, the word you're looking for is carer. You're looking to hire a full-time live-in carer. And the amount that you pay a full-time live-in carer is not free rent. If I had to guess, this is written by one of Blank's parents, and they're trying to keep the money that the government gives them for taking care of disabled people. In fact, down in the comments, people are pointing out that the fact that they specifically have a waiver that says that you won't get paid probably means that Medicaid or some other like insurance is paying them to take care of the kid. Well, not the kid, the person with Down syndrome. Because if someone else comes in and starts caring for blank, then they would be entitled to the insurance slash Medicaid money. But if you sign a document saying that you're not entitled to payment, then the parent could keep the money. So yeah, not only is this a choosing beggar and a liar, but this is also criminal Medicaid fraud. On this next post, OP is an artist and did a free art giveaway. Can I have a free request too? Oh, sorry, my requests are closed for now, but I open them quite frequently. Maybe just join and check in from time to time. But you just gave away lots of requests. It would be nice of you. It's rude to give free art to only a few people. Rude? I don't understand. It's the holiday season, so I wanted to give a few away. But I honestly can't give everyone free art, and I need to start back on the commissions instead. Why are you bringing up commissions? I asked for free requests only. I don't have money in these hard times. All I'm saying is, it's terrible to give free art only to a few people and not everyone. Why do you give free art away anyways? It makes the rest of your art look worthless. Not that it's worth anything anyways. And you don't even respond. B word, no one wants your art anyways. Our next Reddit post is from Rogue Sister. I run a gaming store, and one of the things our store does is give out free Pokemon cards. And let me tell you, when it comes to retail customers and the word free, you get the choosiest beggars. First of all, I want to clarify that this is voluntary. The cards are not provided from our company. They're donated by the community. I've had mothers scream at me for not letting their kids take more than one, then leave bad reviews because they didn't have the Pokemon cards that they wanted. For clarity, these free cards were all commons. The ones that floored me recently were these couple of kids. I gave them the free cards and they looked at me and said, we want a free booster pack instead. It's moments like these that I just want to give up on giving them away anymore. Our next Reddit post is from Linwood Jackson. I thought I'd share a story about something that happened to me pre-pandemic. I was riding my motorcycle home from work one day and decided to pull into an AM PM to get a cold drink. I park along the side of the building and a green suburban pulls up next to me. They roll the windows down and I can see a man, woman, and a bunch of kids in the back seats. The guy says, hey man, can I get 20 bucks in gas for my truck? It seemed like a reasonable enough request. The dude's got a bunch of kids and a gas guzzler, so he was probably just trying to get home, same as me. So I said, sure, what pump? He tells me the pump and I start walking towards the store. He calls out, do you think I could get some water too? Yeah, sure, I say, and I keep walking. I just put my hand on the door to the gas station and he says, make it 40 bucks. I turned around to look at him in hopes that he was just kidding around and lo, he wasn't. I said, and now you get nothing. I just got back on my bike and rode off. Some people. Hi, is the Nintendo Switch still available? Yes, it's available. Could you do 150? Sorry, can't go that low. Come on, it's my kid's birthday soon. I just lost my job, so I can't buy a full price Switch. Well, we all have our issues. I kinda need this money for something too, so I'm sorry, but I can't go to $150. Have some compassion. Are you really gonna ruin an 11 year old's birthday for $150? I don't know, are you gonna ruin an 11 year old's birthday for $150? Go F yourself, trans people aren't real. You're probably gonna use the money for some more drugs to mess up your body, or some other slur stuff. I'll get my boys to come around your house and F you up. We don't like you weird people in blank. Back when this country was great, we had answers for slurs like you. Yeah, something tells me with a dad like that, that 11-year-old's birthday is going to be ruined no matter what happens. 
That was r slash choosing beggars. And if you like this content, check out my podcast where I publish the exact same episodes. Also hit that subscribe button because I put out new Reddit videos every single day.